Welcome back to the Coach's Griddle. Um, today we're going to do something a little bit different. We are not on the griddle. Um, I'm actually going to make some uh, chicken spaghetti in the oven. And all you got to do to that is boil your spaghetti. Um, once you finish cooking your spaghetti, you're going to mix everything into that. Um, this is a really, really easy meal to make. It's also really good. Um, you'll need one rotisserie chicken. Uh, you debone it, take all the chicken off. You need one pound of Velveeta cheese, one can of Rotel, one can of cream of mushroom, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, and then you'll do salt and pepper to taste. Um, so I'm about to get my spaghetti cooking, and while my spaghetti is cooking, I am going to get all of the meat off the bone for my rotisserie chicken, and I'm going to come cut my uh, pound of Velveeta cheese up into little squares so it'll be easy to melt down. Yeah. We have all of our chicken uh, off the bone, uh, tore up into little pieces. We have and our... My and Chandler helped yeah. to get the chicken. Say hey Chandler. And we took our block of cheese and chopped it up into the little cubes. Um, so now we're going to add it to the noodles along with uh, the Rotel cream of mushroom and uh, salt, pepper and garlic powder and I may even add some fire roasted uh, tomatoes just to give it a little bit more. We have all of our chicken and cheese in with our um, spaghetti noodles. Now we're going to add the rest of our ingredients and then start cooking it on low until all the cheese is melted. Chandler is going to add one can of Rotel. We're going to do some salt and pepper to taste. And we got a cream of mushroom. You going to pour it in, Chandler? It's be easy. Well, come on, straight out. Yeah. All right. It just popped out. And then we're going to do a little bit of salt, not a whole lot of salt. We don't want it to be too salty. And then we're going to do our garlic powder and it calls for a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Can I put that in there please? You can. But I'm gonna do a little bit more than a half. This is a whole teaspoon so I'm gonna do a little bit more than a half. Alright, pour it in. So now we have everything together. We're just gonna stir it up and heat it on low until it um, gets all melted together and incorporated. So I'm also gonna add some fire roasted um, diced tomato. All right, so this is uh, pretty much melted all the way down. Once it gets good and melted, we're gonna add it to a um, big casserole dish and then we're gonna put some mozzarella cheese on top. And then we're going to bake it in the oven for about 20 minutes at 375 degrees or until pretty much all the cheese is melted because this is already cooked. Okay, so our uh, chicken spaghetti is ready. All we're going to do is dump it into the dish. And it should be a pretty full pan. Yeah, look at that. Lots of spaghetti. Very good to it. So this is a big meal. Um, we usually eat it for a couple days. And it is very, very creamy. It's very good. How do you know? You haven't even tried it. Because I've made it before, babe. Oh. We've had this several times. <clears throat> so now that we've got it in our dish, we're going to spread it out and then we're going to put some mozzarella on top and then we're going to put it in the oven at 375 for about 20 minutes or however long it takes for the cheese to melt on top and then we'll take it out and show it to you so we're going to put some cheese on it Can I some help? Huh? I don't want to overflow it so I'm just going to use it with my hand Oh. 
This is a messy project. That's it is very, good. very cheesy, that's for sure. That's going to be really cheesy. Mm-hmm. It's going to taste just like a and stick of cheese. I have a whole cheese. pound of shredded mozzarella, but I'm not going to use all of it. Just enough to try to cover the top. We're not going to use too much of it. It's going to be too, too, too cheesy. Make sure you keep it inside, buddy. Fine, just a little bit out for me. So that's good. We will throw it in the oven and then we'll be back. And it'll be super cheesy. Once it's ready. When you eat it, it's gonna be super cheesy.